like uh, a celebration with friends and say, hey, thank you, the harvest is over, and now we can enjoy each other's company. This year's harvest was uh, very unique. Uh, my son and his friends came home, they're staying in wine in California, and they wanted to work the crush, and so they were here in, in uh, September 16th, around that day, which is normally our traditional harvest, but the grapes were not harvested until almost four to six weeks later. Uh, because of the early rains, it uh, slowed down actually production of all our, our fruits and vegetables in the area. And so we were able to, uh, in the middle of October 20th this year, harvest grapes from Illinois. Now what we are doing in Illinois is we are on a crusade to put Illinois on the map. We are going to have a grape that we grow here that is better than any other grape that anybody else can grow in the rest of the United States and for that matter the world. And so with these growers, we are working diligently to figure out what grape these are going to be. We have the experimental vineyard from the University of Illinois. We have 23 new varietals. Uh, and so we have an adopted grape program. If anybody here is interested, will you take care of all vines and we help you make the wines and wine and we taste the wine and we say, okay, is this going to be the premier melon white grape? And we're, we're making huge strides, but we still, we still have a long way to go. But we were able to harvest from uh, the Hall Vineyard five tons of air show foams, five tons of front neck grapes. Uh, from Southern Illinois, five tons of Chambersin, uh, four tons of Seval, six tons of Traminet. And these are all names that hopefully that you are all going to become so familiar with and it's going to identify us with uh, Illinois and premium grapes grown in Illinois. Uh, this year, uh, our artist, uh, Bill, put kind of a, well, actually our family put the genie in the bottle. And we kind of portray this on this poster here in case you're wondering what this is all about. So uh, the title of the poster is Think Outside the Bottle. And we're telling you to be careful what you wish for because looking at the poster, there's, there's a, a lot of possibilities there. So every bottle of Nouveau that you open, we are going to grant you one wish. And my wish for you is that, number one, we prioritize what's important in our life and have a safe holiday with family and friends. Now I'd like to share um, a quote from uh, Thomas More that a friend passed on here this morning. He goes, so life's year begins with days for shortening. You know, shortening still can shine. What? So you see love and girls is H still needs a friend and wine. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank <laughs> you. 